Hey guys, how are you? David DeFranco here from TechSocial.com with my Mac Mini setup video. Now hopefully before this video you watched my unboxing, which is more interesting than just an unboxing, trust me, I ramble about a lot of stuff. Hey Shane! And um, so I'm here to finally set up my Mac Mini. Again, huge thanks to David Banther for making this possible. You can check out his links below the video. Okay, so my Mac Mini is currently hooked up via H HDMI. Well, DVI to HDMI on my Samsung 46 inch 1080p TV. Now I realize it's not gonna look amazing on this TV. I'll eventually change it to the VGA port on the back, which is meant for that, uh, because I really don't like taking up another HDMI port. It's actually my last one uh, out, of, out of four, because uh, eventually I wanna get a 360 uh, that has full HDMI support. Anyway, I'm rambling. The point is, for now, the Mac Mini is temporarily hooked up to the um, HDMI 3 port, I believe, and right now I have the Mighty Mouse. Yeah, okay, you know what? Instead of talking, I'll just show you. There is the little guy himself, my Mac Mini. Oh, by the way, it's 1.83 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo, 2 gigabytes of RAM, I believe. Um, I don't know the hard drive size. It really doesn't matter because this is only used for streaming, by the way, uh, for those not aware. So, oh, by the way, this will be used on um, techsocial.com slash live and ddefranco.com slash live. I said used on, that doesn't really make sense. Uh, anyway, you guys know what I'm saying. Okay, so for now, I have the Magic, I'm sorry, I keep saying Magic Mouse. This is take number two. This is my Mighty Mouse, the Mighty 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 Mouse, um, hooked up to the Mac Mini because for now, I believe the Magic Trackpad, which I do have and which, uh, which I will hook up later, only works with Snow Leopard, which is right here. So for now, I gotta use my wired Mighty Mouse. Yeah, so it's sitting on my iPad too. Uh, for the time being, as this obviously will not work on a glass surface. And here is my classic Bluetooth um, Apple keyboard. Gotta be honest, I'm really not a big fan of this keyboard at all. I really like the new chiclet design, which is right here, which I use on my Mac Pro. So, um, this does have Leopard on it, I believe. That's what the seller told me on Amazon. But, me being paranoid, I'm gonna wipe out the hard drive myself again, put Leopard on it, then Snow Leopard, since this obviously requires Leopard 10.5, this is 10.6, and then, Oh, by the way, this is not staying here, this keyboard. Um, I will rarely be ever um, even typing on this thing because, like I said, this is primarily a streaming computer for, for my live broadcast. So I'll most likely only be using the mouse, well, Magic Trackpad, and stuff like that. Anyway, guys, what do you say we do a first boot? Going down to the Mac Mini, it's actually, let's turn the TV on first. And remotes in hand. I believe it is input three, so let's go to source, and let's find it. Actually, I don't think it'll even show up until it's on, so let's, well, there it is right now. Although, yeah, SATA source is not connected. So let's go, actually, let's turn these lights off, because it's kind of reflective, since it's a glossy display. Much better. Okay, let's turn the Mac Mini on. This is the first boot ever for me. Three, two, one. We have power. Oh, Did you hear that little chime? Look at that, HDMI 3 disappeared, which means it is now active. So let's see what happens. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, sorry, that was kind of non-manly, but you guys gotta understand, this is a huge deal for me. This is awesome. Wow, that actually looks freaking sweet. Look at the quality, it's really sharp. Sorry, I'm having like nerd gasms behind the camera here. All right, so it should take me up um, through the usual setup process, but let's just, oh, <laughs> listen to the audio. It's so tinny. Eventually I will hook up speakers. Actually, I might even hook it up to my receiver, but we'll see. I would really like to get two cheap speakers. Maybe I'll request them for a review or something from Cyber Acoustics if you guys are watching. I'll um, we'll put like left channel here and right channel here. Because I really don't need killer speakers or anything. But there you go. Let's just watch the intro. You know, I take back what I said before when I said it wouldn't look that good. This looks absolutely amazing for being on a TV, guys. There's no keyboard connected. Actually, there will be in a second. By the way, usually my Kinect goes here, if, you, if you're wondering, if you're a new viewer of mine. Let's put that on. That should connect. Let's press keys. Hope something happens. By the way, those stripes you see, 
are not on my actual TV. That's just a refresh rate issue. You can see they move as I move. Pairing with the keyboard. Actually, yeah, there you go. If you move back, it looks much better for you guys. Searching for your cube. Is this not going to work? Uh, unless the batteries are shot. No, it's blinking. Come on! Well, either way, it doesn't hurt, guys, because, of course, me being the Apple geek that I am, I do have a wired iMac G3 keyboard that I can use if I can get the cable out. There you go. All right, one second. And I am back. Wired keyboard is working beautifully. The wireless, I'll just figure out afterwards. It will definitely work then. All right, let's go do uh, United States. Clearly, we're in the United States. Oh, I to use mouse, sorry. Okay, good. The mouse is working. Let's click continue. Continue. Do not transfer. Now, this is a tip for new Mac users, or existing, if you didn't know this. To format your disk, hold on, let's go to Buster. I guess we gotta connect first. Okay, now that that's done, now it's gonna take us into the main OS X interface. But when I put the Leopard disk in, we can go back and I'll show you guys how to format your hard drive for those not aware. Okay, the desktop is up. The aspect ratio is a little off, but I can obviously change that in the settings. Okay, I figured it out. I've actually never even seen this before because I never hooked up a, a, a Mac to a TV. I mean, in terms of like nowadays. Um, if you go to options, you can see an option for overscan. Uncheck that and it puts everything in kind of like a letterbox format. You can see the edge of my TV is right here. It's kind of hard to see, it's just black and black, but there it is. Okay, so now let's put the OS X Leopard Disk in and the totally clean install. I realize this is a clean install, but you guys gotta understand, I'm OCD when it comes to this stuff, so on to the next step. Disk is in hand, and there it goes, OS X Leopard. And something should pop up any second. Turn the OIS on, there you go. And there you go. The disc is now in there. And I will cut to a, the uh, next clip showing you guys how to do the format process. And there you go, Mac Mini is restarting after clicking install. Then you sh we should see the uh, next prompt. Hopefully this video is exciting guys, there's only so much I can do about an um, install process. This is not an upgrade or anything like that. So I'm gonna try to keep this as interesting as possible. In the meantime, I do a Wawa coffee. Obviously, I always need my Wawa coffee. And then after this is installed, we can put Snow Leopard on there, which should be pretty sweet. Back at square one, let's click Next. Use English as the main language. Oh, you know what? That's why we didn't see before, because it's auto resizing. Oh, I can't see the entire menu up here. That's why I didn't see before. Now we're just gonna have to guess where it is. Okay, disk utility, there you go. I believe options, options usually appears right here, but my TV is not resizing it uh, properly, but you have to go to options, disk utility. I believe it's called options. And then you will see the option to format your disk, which is what I usually like to do because again, I'm just paranoid. I like, I like things being um, at a totally clean start. So, there you go. okay, there we go. So now we know this is an 80 gigabyte Hitachi hard drive. Very cool. So click on that. Click erase. Go to, actually, let's just do journaled. Let's just name this Mac Mini. We can always change that later. Security options. Now, I like to zero, zero out the data. Again, I'm paranoid. That uh, I mean, this takes a while, but we have time. So erase, erase. Now that should take a pretty long time considering the OS is already on there. So it's gonna take a while. So I will see you guys very soon.